script tools and splines and a few other little help helpful tips um, is what this video is about <laughs> so we are in our map and we've got our background in that's what we did we've got our terrain all laid out for us ready to go we've got our fields which are laid out for us and unfortunately um, they don't have the hectares assigned so they're not um, set up correctly yet but they will be later and um, but first of all what we're going to do is we're going to go and find these script tools now if you've already been investigating you'll already know that farmer boys is where you need to go and the link will be in the description so we're going to come over to farmer boy farmer boys modding.com you're going to come in here and the same as the giants developer network you need to um, you need to join you need to set up an account to be able to to access these tools um, but once you once you come in uh, I'm not signed in at the moment but once you come in don't go to the downloads bit you want to come in here and you want to go to FS 25 updated scripts it's just here right you're gonna click on that and that time of recording which is January 2025 now um, the top post which is by Wrinkley's rule which was posted on December the 2nd 2024 and it says here um, I have now updated the following scripts for FS25 um, so we've got fence power placement paint foliage by spline panel spline CSV creator panel spline height panel spline paint panel spline placement panel combined and fence power placement various other things you can all read for it yourself um, and then you just scroll down and like I said you need to register with them or else you can't download this but at the bottom of that post right here you've got fs25 script versions dot zip and if you're not logged in it will say unavailable so again you need to create an account now this site is very helpful okay you can ask whatever question you want and you will get a sensible answer from people who really know what they're talking about more so than what I do and um, I will always try to answer your questions as you should already know I will I'm I always try to be as helpful as I possibly can uh, to the point that if I don't know the answer I will try and find the answer for you I won't just shoo you off somewhere else I will try to find that answer um, so yes uh, this is a very valuable website to be a part of if you want to make mods maps or or anything to do with farming simulator okay so once you have downloaded that you will open your file up um, you're going to want to come to your local disk C then you're going to want to come down to um, where are we where are we see but there we are users and double click that and then you're gonna go to your name or whatever you're you are called <laughs> and um, and then you're gonna come down to app data then you want a local then you want to find giants editor and you want to find your latest version which is Giants Editor 64-bit 10.0.3 so we've not had an update yet I'm sure we will get another one and you want to come into there and then you want to go to your script folder and then you just copy over from the file that you downloaded from Farmer Boys and just 
paste it in here all right and then you'll see them all it's all here okay so you've got all those things that i mentioned before i waffled a bit there that's because there's a lot to remember so anyway once that is there you'll be able to come up here to scripts and you want to go to uh, user scripts and then here you'll have the FS25 script versions and then here you'll have all of those files that we've just put in there okay now we're not going to use them yet I'll go over them in a bit but that's that's where they are so now you've got all those installed happily right now before you get on with using any of that you want to kind of tidy up this mess that we're looking at here it's very distracting everything is very annoying um, so the first thing that you want to do is you you want to get rid of this purple pink haze sort of thing so you just click up here terrain sculpt mode click on that once the up down arrow and that will disappear All right now once that's done we want to get rid of our field blocks and we're not we're not getting rid of them we just want to hide them so we're going to go to gameplay we're going to open up that um file that drop down and then we're going to go to fields and just highlight fields come across to your attributes wherever you have your attributes i have them on the right now because i used to have them on the left and i moved it i don't know why but I did. So anyway, um, <laughs> we can come down here to visibility. So you want attributes, transform, and then visibility, which is checked. Uncheck it, they disappear. All right. I haven't deleted it. It's just not visible. It's just hidden. So we can close up our gameplay. And that is that done. Okay, next thing. This is going to help us immensely to get this all where we want it so the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to come up here to create and we want to go to primitives and we want to go to plane click on that and that will create a plane for us then what you want to do is you want to come across to your attributes again select plane come to attributes and then you want to go to scale and if you can remember we set up our background as being a 6144 and that is exactly what we want to do with this so in the scale x type 6144 and in the scale z you want to type 6144 that will make that plane the same size as our background which means that middle of it will be perfect the the same size as our terrain now remember this is two times two just in case anybody have forgotten it's two times two so now that is done we want to come to our material editing And we're going to go to albedo map and then we're going to go to search our file and fortunately that's opened it up into the exact file that we want but if it doesn't you want to go to your map file which is fs25 burrow for me then go to your mods folder then click on your backgrounds and then we're going to click that background image which is the 6144 if you didn't number it 6144 just double just hover over it and the dimensions will come up and you'll be able to see it 6144 okay so we want that so select it and then open it gives us a little uh, warning there is no optimized version of the selected texture available convert now yes then we get a little warning down here on our console we're not worried about that because it's not staying so you just click ok and we're done there the next thing you want to do is you want to bring that up okay and we can have a look at it make sure it's all good it is it looks beautiful it's a shame we can't use this 
but we can't. Um, so now what we want to do is we just want to come to our attributes again. Let's push these down. Our attributes again. We're going to come to shape now. And in here it says rendered in viewports and that's checked. Uncheck it and it will disappear. Then come down to here, terrain decal. And then what that does is it projects that image onto our terrain. Okay. It's got no collision to it. It's just a projection. Now, if you don't want to see that, you can click off your visibility like we did with the fields and it will make it disappear. Or you can click it back on. Or you can push it. Oh, nope, don't do that, Zebra. Or you can push it down. Push it. Oh, what is going on? Why is it not working? There we go. Push it down <laughs> and it will be invisible to the eye. But you can have it as high as you like, so you can put it right up in the sky. It doesn't really matter. It's just projecting it straight down onto our terrain for us. Okay. And what that will do is that will help us lay out our fields our trees so if you want to get it absolutely perfect you can put trees down exactly where it is on the map you can't lay the clouds down unfortunately but that is just how it is uh, but it does help you if you really want your farm to be exactly the same um, except you probably won't be able to get exactly the same buildings but near or near enough buildings you'll be able to use it to lay down your farm buildings in your farmyards um, this this addition to Giants Editor is fantastic alright this deco thing because it gives us the ability to be able to make really good roads that don't have bumps and jumps and collisions that have not been laid down correctly it's it's a real uh, is it a game changer yeah I suppose it is a game changer right it's it's making this real easy um, it's a shame that we can't leave it like this right because that would look fantastic but as one of my viewers found out um, you can't <laughs> modify your fields and things and no word of a lie he sent me a, a video of what he was doing because he was trying to explain it and I couldn't quite work out what the problem was but what he was doing is painting down his field onto the map onto the terrain and what was happening was uh it was just sporadically spraying and literally that is the, the the only way i can explain it sporadically spraying kind of field particles <laughs> all over the area and it, it really was not working for him uh, and once i realized what was going on i said to him dude you need you, you can't do that and he was like but i want it to be realistic i was like yeah it's it's not going to work like that unfortunately we're not at that level yet uh, but yeah we've got a few things that we need to sort out and i need to change some settings on this as well which we'll go through later on but yeah that's we're not there yet it works great for roads it works great for your farmyard so if you want a really nice concrete weathered concrete kind of ground it's going to work fantastic for that and we're going to try it out for sure um and then well, i got to work out what i'm going to do about these orchards because i chose this thinking this was a good idea that's why i chose this area because it had this really interesting orchard situation going on and i don't know because i've not gone to find out i don't know if this is like cider country 
I, I'm guessing it might be because we're, we're kind of Somerset, right? Um, but I think what we'll do is probably make this a vineyard. It looks vineyardy already, so it could could be what that is anyway. These are definitely trees, so they, they, that's got to be maybe it's olives, but yeah, we'll put orchard orchards in so we'll put grapevine instead i think but we'll cross that bridge when we come to it so it's everywhere right uh, got it all over the place and i was like yes this is a good idea zebra now i'm thinking no this is probably not a good idea zebra <laughs> that's that's how it is so that's just a quick one to get you up to speed with where we're heading with this um, and a few tips to make life easier whilst we're working with this map okay let's move that down a bit I really lifted that up eh? there we go um, so yeah the next video is gonna be um, painting roads with the splines I'm not I'm not gonna go in depth into these splines in this video because I don't want the videos to be um, hours and hours long right I want to keep them short and simple and sweet and easy to kind of navigate throughout the playlist um, rather than try and navigate videos I've watched a lot of videos where they're an hour hour and a half some are two hours farmer Bob um, and it is horrendous trying to navigate through the video just to find one specific little bit that he's talking about that you need to know and then you know that's how it is so i'm going to stop waffling the next video is going to be about painting the roads with the splines